Welcome back. So far, we woke up in Port Olisar, learned how to walk, went on a shopping spree, and got to know the F key really, really well. Now, it's time to get your spaceship and go see the stars. To get started, head to deck one and find the center of the station. You can't miss it. But just in case, there are lots of signs posted around Port Olisar to help keep you on track. Deck one is the room with the big glowing hologram in the middle showing a huge planet, that's Crusader, and its various satellites. Around said hologram are several Aesop ship retrieval terminals. You'll use these to retrieve any ships you own from storage. Use the trusty F key to interact with the terminal, and let's get started. Your fleet manager program shows you all the ships you own and some information about those ships, including where they are currently being stored, their statuses, etc. On the far right, there are three buttons under Actions. There's the Claim button, which can be used to replace your ship if it happens to get stolen or blown up or something. Hey, space is crazy. There's the Track button, with which you can track your ships that aren't currently stored. But since our ship does happen to be stored here at Olisar, we're going to use the Retrieve button, which calls the selected ship to an open landing pad. Let's go ahead and retrieve our Aurora MR. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. You'll now receive a location to which the ship has been delivered. There it is. Great. You'll also get a waypoint on your HUD to make sure you don't get lost. Follow that excellent Port Olisar signage to the pad. Now to get to the actual pad, you'll have to go through this airlock. Make sure you have a helmet on. Cycle the airlock using, you guessed it, the F key, and head out to your ship. Keep on going. You're almost there. Hey, there she is, your Aurora MR. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Let's get inside, shall we? Now, every ship in Star Citizen is different, and how you get into some of the ships isn't necessarily obvious. You'll use the F key to locate parts of the ship with which you can interact and find the entry point. The good news is that getting into your Aurora is fairly straightforward. Interact with the cockpit, get in. Interact with the pilot's chair, take a seat. Use F yet again to locate the flight ready button. Fire it up with a left mouse click and we're ready to go. Your ship has various HUDs, multifunctional displays or MFDs, and things like that to provide you with the information needed to travel successfully around the verse. Here we have our hydrogen fuel meter. Hydrogen fuel is required for everything from basic movement to more advanced maneuvers, so make sure to pay attention to the level. Let's take off. Lift off the landing pad by pressing and holding the space bar. Remember not to sit on the landing pad too long or OSR Brass will boot your ship back into storage and you'll end up back in your easy hand. <laughs> hey, they do have a spaceport to run after all. Once far enough away from the pad, retract your landing gear by pressing N. Let's increase our speed and head towards space with the W key. The S key will lower our throttle and slow us down as needed. Next is forward velocity, showing how fast your ship is moving forward in meters per second. Note this only shows forward velocity, so your ship may be moving at different speeds in other vectors. Here you can see thruster output in newtons, as well as throttle, shown via percentage. There are also two flight status indicators that appear in this area, boost and afterburner. Boost increases the maneuverability of a ship by adding more fuel to maneuvering thrusters. Afterburner greatly increases the full velocity of the ship, shunting more thrust and fuel to the main thruster. Here you can see that we are in our Space Combat Maneuvers, or SCM, flight mode, often considered the standard flight mode on which most pilots rely. It offers the best balance of maneuverability and speed. There's also Precision Mode, linked with the ship's landing gear. With landing gear deployed, a ship will automatically enter Precision Mode, reducing thruster output and top speed to allow for greater control. Precision Mode is most often used for landing, but it can also be useful for negotiating tight spaces. I'm guessing you want to do more than just hang around taking up airspace at Olisar. So join us in the next video, where we'll go over the basics of maneuvering in space.
like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.